Hello, hello everybody, it's Lisa. How are you all? I hope everybody's well and that life is good and that you're enjoying the lovely weather. We have had absolutely scorching weather in Scotland for quite a little while now. And for those of you who haven't been to Scotland, you would not believe it. We get maybe one day of sunshine and then it rains for three weeks. But those of you who have been will probably be aware of that. We do get a lot of rain. I live on the west coast and we get a lot of rain coming over the Atlantic and coming over from Ireland. So anyway, it's been absolutely boiling hot. It's been about 90 degrees. So we really aren't used to it. Nobody has air conditioning because you would never use it basically. But anyway... I am doing this video very late at night because my craft room gets the sun all day and it is just roasting. So anyway, that was one and a half minutes of utter, <laughs> utter nonsense, just like what I usually speak. I wanted to come and show you the projects I've been working on. I've been working on some ephemera and this is actually going to be included in a happy mail to a friend who's helped me out a lot. She lives abroad but she's given me a lot of help and I wanted to send her something and I thought I would put together some vintage looking ephemera and I have also used the stick pins that I've been make, making. If you've been following my videos, you'll know how obsessed I've been with making stick pins. Here is a bunch, all made, well, mostly all made, 90% made with vintage buttons that I received, well, that I bought at the charity shop. And they are just amazing. So I've been loving these and desperately looking for ways to use them in my projects. And I've certainly found ways and I'll show you if you just bear with me. So first of all, you might not have heard of Moira MacDonald, but she's a really talented Scottish journal maker. She also makes beautiful cards and she loves vintage style. So she recently did a tutorial on doing a beautiful kind of vintage looking decorated envelope and our stuff is absolutely beautiful. I'm going, if you hang on till the end, I will show you some of the stuff that she sent me, that she made for me. But this is my take on Moira's beautiful vintage envelopes and she has a YouTube channel, please check her out. She's extremely talented and she also does tutorials. So this is one of them. So this is my take on it. They're both uh, virtually identical. So there's no point in showing you both of them. I'll show you the best one. Wait, I'll move this so you can see properly. But isn't it gorgeous? And this envelope, for those of you who watch Artie Mays and buy her digital kits, she does have a YouTube channel. This is one of Artie Mays' envelopes. And Andrea, if you're watching this video, these envelopes are absolutely fantastic for this project. And these were envelopes I had left over from the Jane Austen journals that I made. And they were in my journal scrap supply box and I dug them out. So I had two of them and uh, there's embossing, there's some perfect perils, there's a little stamp, there are some vintage doilies and cheesecloth and vintage lace and these beautiful images I got at the 
craft group that I go to, they have a swap table. So you take something that you don't need and you can swap it. So I got these and they're lovely. And some old music paper. This is the stuff that's from the 1940s. And some cheesecloth. And look, a stick pin. So the stick pins, when you do a little... Um, collage or layering whatever it, the official terminology is and you have a little gap here between you know the the two pieces of ephemera a stick pin is ideal to put in the middle so this is the the best one so this is the one that's going abroad and on the back, I've really, this was pure white. Uh, Artie Maisie's kits are already distressed somewhat, but I do add a lot of distressing and you it might not pick it up, but various different colours all around and decorated it at the back as well. And this is my one of my wax seals. So I used the gold wax and what I did was I put it onto a piece of parchment paper so it wouldn't stick, made the seal and carefully peeled it off so that it would permanently be on the envelope and it wouldn't break. So really like it. And I've just made some, this is a Jane Austen kit and I've just backed it onto some Edith Holden book pages and uh, sewn round the edges. And that is a cracking little idea if you wanted to send somebody some happy meal is to make them something like this so please take a picture of it check out Moira's tutorial and go ahead and have a, a wee bash yourself and next I have done a tag and this is in the Moira McDonald style which is vintage layered distressed and I took all my inspiration from Moira to make this tag and I'm so pleased with it. This is a stamping up, I think it's the labels framelits and I've cut out like beautiful paper with little birds on it and thought I thought it looked really pretty at the top of the tag obviously the bottom of the label is exactly the same but it's hidden and I've used a vintage doily you all know I love my vintage doilies and I don't have any qualms about cutting them up I do prefer to get ones that are already damaged because it does make it easier to cut them up but I dare say there's a couple of really special ones that I'll never cut, but the majority of them will be used in various projects. And this is stamping onto fabric and I've backed it onto some book, no, not book paper, um, music paper. And this little image of the gypsy, little gypsy girl, is one that Moira gave me. She sent me emailed me a couple well lots of things but in amongst it was a couple of sheets of these beautiful little portraits because I had asked her where she managed to get them from and she was kind enough to send me them so I have been using them this is actually printed onto vellum and backed onto cream card it, it actually showed up the colours much better when it was backed onto cream rather than white and at the back I've just used really fancy paper sandwiched in the middle is white card just to give it a, a bit of stability so really pleased with this wish I had actually made a few at the one time but I tend to not do that but I'll always I'll always have this video to be able to look back on and I've put a little gold, kind of coppery coloured stick pin in there. So, really happy with that. 
And this is another one in the style of uh, Moira McDonald. And this has been the same image because it really matched this paper with the green in it. So this is printed onto acetate, so it kind of looks a bit like a negative. And this is the label die. And really just layered some cheesecloth and lace out of my snippet bag. I keep all my little snippets of lace now. I used to chuck them away and I can't believe I did that. And some pearls and just kept it very simple. And that's the bag. So I'm really happy with that. And next, I love decoupaging napkins onto glassine bags. And this was a bag that Moira had actually sent me and some happy mail. She sent me quite a few bags. It is very difficult for us in Scotland to get beautiful glassine bags. They tend to just be a standard size. So this is one that I actually haven't seen. And it's perfect for putting ephemera in. So what I've done is I've used a Scottish napkin and decoupaged it on and I've gone round it with distressing inks and I've done some layering here and this is from an old Scottish book about Scottish war stories and there's lace, music paper, uh, cheesecloth, burlap and the little bow there just finishes it off so I'm I really like that little envelope and it's perfect if you want to send a gift and here are some of the one of the clocking cards that Moira sent me and I've decoupaged a napkin on top of it and this is really pretty napkin I've had these ones for a while and I've just punched a couple of holes and there's some I'm trying to think what I use I think it was Bally pink colored silk and some music paper and some cheesecloth but you could actually make this into a little notebook you this could be your front cover and then you could have you could cut out some paper and then have a backing sheet on it and it's very it's the same sort of idea actually that patty patty center nw lady 1948 is her channel she made a notebook so it's kind of you could use this and that that type of notebook and it, it's just a different way to use you know the plain clock in cards and decorate them a little bit and I've made a little snippet tag and I love this I actually just made one like I always do but this was taken from the snippet roll that I had made to decorate journals and it's got lots of different types of lace and tool and different things and I had this little piece of printed uh, cotton which I've added to the top like a little banner and just added the little flower and I've made an eyelet there and just used one of the bulb pins and added a little key just to finish it off so I really really love how that turned out and this is what it looks like on the back I do have I was going to make another, another couple of bits uh, but I've not got there yet but this is beautiful paper that I got at uh, the craft de-stash sale that I went to in April and I am not hoarding anything. I am using everything. And I'm going, to, I'm going to quickly show you some of the beautiful tags that Moira sent me. So check out our channel. But look, they are sheer perfection. 
perfection. I tell you, Moira, you must have some stash on you because, like, these li little things and the, you know, these are just gorgeous, aren't they? And that's the back. And here are, like, the kind of uh, negative tags. So this is where I got the idea from. And this is another one. You're... Oh, wait a minute. There we go. And look at this. I was that was my intention to kind of try and create something like this. And another beautiful tag, all decorated on the back. And another one. I love this little banner. And look at the beautiful ephemera on that. This, these are just amazing. And here are a couple of Moira's envelopes that she's made. And these are real postage stamps. I've got some of these as well that I bought off eBay second-handed, but I've not actually used any of them in a project yet. But yeah. So, anyway check Moira out and I think that's it. I'm going to be back soon because I've been revamping an old journal that I made and the journal was lovely but I wasn't pleased with the ephemera and tags that I made so I'll be back soon to show you that but for now I'm going to say cheerio.